Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, so this is actually just a quick look into some of the new features in ZBrush 4 R6. It was uh, released a few days ago. So some of the more notable changes uh, revolve around retopology. More specifically, they're getting rid of uh, or replacing uh, what we currently have that's called Q remesher. They're replacing it with Z remesher. So uh, for those of you that don't know what this is, it's basically an automated way to retopologize your mesh. So for the people that currently use Z spheres to like manually uh, manually recreate uh, topology on their mesh, this is kind of a big deal. So uh, currently, Q remesher could use curves to help uh, suggest edge flow, but it wasn't very accurate. So the new one, Z remesher, uses two new algorithms which you can toggle in between. And uh, not only can you use curves, but you can also use polypaint to suggest a density. Like uh, you would need uh, more, or <laughs> you need more topology and uh, more depth, I guess, uh, around the eyes versus the head. Because on top of the head, well, you know, no one's. There's not really much going on up there. It's just a simple shape. You're only looking for the silhouette. But if you're trying to animate like eyes or something, moving animation, uh, like emotion specifically, you need a lot of topology. Uh, in there, so uh, that's actually kind of cool, especially because it's automated. Now, um, the the feature that I'm actually looking forward to the most uh, is uh, actually for Dynamesh. Um, anybody who's uh, seen, I mean, <laughs> if you've seen my speed sculpts, you'll see that I use Dynamesh and polygroups a lot, uh, especially in conjunction with masking. So the new feature uh, now actually preserves polygroups inside of Dynamesh. So currently, when you use Dynamesh and Polygroups, uh, you have two options. You can either uh, re-Dynamesh uh, and lose your Polygroups, or you can re-Dynamesh and check the little box that says, yeah, you know, um, play around, or uh, <laughs> you can check the little box for Polygroups, but it won't necessarily preserve the Polygroups. Currently, it'll actually separate the Polygroup from your mesh. Uh, in essence creating a completely new mesh so this feature is definitely welcome so it, it actually preserves polygroups uh, looking forward to playing around with that uh, there's I'm guessing a bug fix with the slice brush because uh, now it operates uh, on a set position and doesn't prop, uh, propagate you've then got a new polygroup creation function which uh, uses the camera to assign uh, the polygroup faces so that's kinda cool um, a new feature for, let's see here, solo dynamic. Okay, so it's it allows you to iso uh, to isolate the mesh further, so you can sculpt easier on it. And internal UV smoothing. Now I'm looking forward to seeing what else they have in store for this. Um, I haven't gotten my hands on ZBrush 406 yet, but uh, I have a few plans. See, that's kind of cool. <laughs> but uh, I have some tutorials planned especially using this, or at least some speed sculpts. Um, anyway, if you guys get a chance, uh, jump on the Pixelogic forums and uh, see what uh, some of the uh, pros have done with the new features, and uh, you know, read the patch notes for yourself. As always, uh, I will see you guys next time.